Blues, how you doing? I have a DIY day kind of thing going today for you. Um, I got a couple of them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do one at a time or, you know, both in the same thing. Um, but uh, this first one is uh, just dry shampoo for your hair. All you need is a container put it in. I got this one from Dollar General. It's already got that, um, it's got like one of those shaker things on top. Um, so you can, you know, just shake it onto your hair. Um, you need some cocoa, um, especially for brown hair, depending, you know, depending on how light your hair is, you might not want too much of that, but mine's pretty dark, so I need it. Um, you also need some, um, uh, like cornstarch. Um, uh, to soak up the oil and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to take this container here. Pop the top off there. Uh, set those down. Alright, so we're going to first take the cornstarch and the jar here. You can make as much or as little as you want, but um, I don't need to make too much at one time because I still like the spray kind too, but um, you just take some measuring spoons and you're gonna you know, divvy a few um, like a few teaspoons into uh, the thing you know a few heaping teaspoons um, I probably should hold it up for you see just like that I just got like three in there and then we find the cap and of course, I'm not doing this in the kitchen, so I'm making a mess. Well, I can't really stand up too much yet because <laughs> of the surgery. Ooh, did I just shake you? Okay. So now I am nice and filthy. <laughs> oh, so we're going to take our cocoa. And you don't need any fancy smells if you don't want to. Like everybody wants you to put essential oils and stuff like that in it. I could give a crap less. I don't like to smell that stuff anyway. I just want it to smell like cocoa. Mmm. Yum. So you're going to take your teaspoon and depending on how dark your hair is, because you're still going to want a little bit even if you're blonde. So you're going to, like I'm going to do probably three or four heaping um, teaspoons here. <laughs> Maybe four. One more. There we go. So now let me put the cap back on that before I make even more of a mess. That would not be good. Okay. I'm reaching. Sorry. Okay. So I got this container here. Let me set these down. Let me put the lid back on it. Right here and this lid which is so cool because you can keep it in there that way it doesn't leak and you shake that sucker shake it, shake it, shake it. and there you go you have your DIY dry shampoo say I don't know if you can see put some on the back of my hand that way um, I'll just show you that it's brown and that way it would match, you know, this hair did. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like that. Um, don't worry about putting essential oils in it unless you want it to smell. Maybe, maybe you could do peppermint essential oil. It'll smell like chocolate and peppermint. Mmm, that might be good. Um, I might try that next time. But, I love it. And I'm going to keep using it. And I hope you do too. <laughs> Thanks guys.